I want to briefly talk about some things that I've noticed on the internet for a while. Now, I'm going to try not to be long with this video because uh, once I start talking, I start coughing because I still have somewhat of the remnants of the cold or the flu or whatever that thing was I had. So I'm going to try to make this as quickly as possible. But what I've been noticing is how so many black males on the Internet have been stalking and harassing younger dudes they stalk and harass young dudes you would think that they would be an example a mature example to the young dudes but instead they become spiritual vampires now we all have our own definition and understanding of what a spiritual vampire does and how it sucks the energy out of them, the spiritual energy. Well, there are so many black dudes that sucking the spiritual energy, the spiritual youth out of young dudes. And a lot of these guys, you can tell by how they carry themselves, by how they dress, they sag their pants. They do what they see the young dudes do. Now, there was a time we used to see a lot of women do that. You know, where you have a lot of women want to preserve their youth. So they start dressing like young girls and they start acting like young girls. And then in many cases, you see these older women start fighting with the young girls over their young boyfriends. Right. You would think that the woman would back off. But you got these cougars out there. That will go after the barely legal boys and will fight these barely legal girls. I've seen cases, man, where you had females that were in their 30s and 40s fighting 18 and 19 year old girls over their boyfriends. But you now have dudes doing the same thing, but they're not fighting or competing with the young dudes for the girls. These older dudes are trying to compete with the young dudes for thuggery, for youthfulness. They want to prove that they still got the juice. And a lot of these dudes, man, are jealous and envious of the youth of a lot of young dudes. And they start despising young dudes because they want to be those young dudes and they know that time is ticking they know that they're getting older and older each day when they start seeing the gray come on their face or on their head when they start noticing their bones start start squeaking and, and popping and cracking and they can't move like they used to move so now what they start doing is they envy these young boys so much to the point where they start dressing like them and they will start stalking and harassing them online. Start picking beefs with these young boys to get these young boys to react to them. And there's cases that older dudes actually killed or murdered a young dude because he now has to prove his thuggery. He's got to prove that he still got it. And that's why you see older dudes beefing with the young dudes on YouTube. I sit back and I watch that and look at the number of videos that's made um, against Hassan Campbell, against Nature Boy. Now, Tommy Sotomayor is not that young, but you have dudes, man, that's stalking and harassing other dudes on the internet. It makes no sense. These dudes make videos of young Pharaoh attacking young Pharaoh. You would think that they would try to encourage people like young Pharaoh because he's young. But instead, you turning these dudes sour against young men. They now have no respect for their elders because their elders have proven themselves to be immature. And you wonder why a lot of black women 
don't want to deal with these dudes. You wonder why they don't really respect or you other races don't respect black men because you have so many black dudes out there that have not grown up. They may physically look like an adult, but when it comes to their mindset, their mentality, they're boys. They act worse than these young boys. I remember when I was in high school. And it's a lot worse now than it was then because now we have social media. And you have a lot of older cats, man, that's my age, around my age, attacking people like young Pharaoh. Instead of trying to guide them and direct them, if you feel that they're doing things out of character, Try to guide and direct them. If they reject it, if they refuse that information, you move on. But to make video after video after video after video, taunting, stalking, and harassing these young dudes for internet clout. They talk about exposing these young boys. Dropping their personal information. And I'm just surprised, man. I'm surprised that no one lost their life so far, to my knowledge. Right? Because you have a lot of young dudes, man, that's trying to avoid the law. They're trying to stay out of trouble. And then you have the older dudes, man, that's trying to force them out. Get them to react. And I hear so many young dudes, man, on YouTube talking to older dudes like, Yo, how old are you, man? You 50 and you coming at me like this? So you have a lot of black dudes, man, that's trying to drain the energy, the youthfulness, trying to prove that they still thugs in their old age. And you wonder why your kids, your woman don't respect you. When you don't even respect yourself, you refuse to grow up. For a young person to call you OG, or we could take offense to that, but it's a respectful term. It's their way of respecting your, 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 you being an elder, right? And it's a blessing to be called an elder. But you have so many black dudes out there that reject that compliment. They don't want to be an elder. They want to be a thug. They don't want to grow up. They want to prove they still got the juice. So they attack these young boys. And that's why when these young boys, man, disrespect these older cats, man, or take them out or whatever, I seen an older dude get beat down one time by this young dude, man. You know, and I knew this dude. This dude, in his day, he used to be a boxer. He was good with his hands. But then the drugs and the alcohol got a hold of him. He opened himself to, up to drugs and alcohol. And so he decided to try to be like one of these young boys. And he was going up. And I'm watching this cat, man. And he's like, you know, running up and down the street, chasing these young boys, man. These little young drug, drug dealers, you know, getting stuff on the credit. Right. One day, man, this young boy, he had to be like 16, 17 years old. He beat this dude so bad, man. I felt bad. We had to go out there and stop this young dude, man. Get this young dude off of him, man. Right? And the dude was so... He was so lost because of the drugs and the alcohol in his body <coughs> that he had, no, he, had, he had nothing, man. I mean, all the boxing experience he had, it did nothing for him because the drugs had him. The alcohol had him. And the young boy hit this dude, man, and he had blood just, just, he was drooling blood, man. Blood was just, he was just leaking from the mouth, man, dude. And young boy, man, he was about 16, 17 years old, beat the brakes off this dude because he was one of them dudes, man, that kept picking at these young boys, running up behind these young boys, man, trying to be a thug, man. And this dude, he had to be in his 40s, man, almost 50 years old. And the young boy had no respect for him at all. Did not see him as an elder. And if we hadn't got that, that young boy off of him, 
There's no telling what could have happened, man. He could even end up killing that dude, man. But it's his fault. It's his fault because he refused to grow up, man. He was a spiritual vampire. Trying to suck the negative energy out of these young boys. Trying to get these young boys to respond to him. To make him look like he tough or he got clout. And then you drain the energy out of these young boys. You get these young boys so angry, they have to now react. My young sons went through that. They went through that with a couple of dudes, man. Older cats, man. And I, I had to confront one of the dudes, man. Yo, back off of him. You know, but you got these older cats that see him. And they look at these young boys like, yo, he got swag. I want to be like you. I remember when I was... Um, I had to be about 15 or 16 years old. And this dude I knew for a while, man. Um, he's an older dude, man. He walked up to me one day. And I was a little nerd, man. I wasn't in the street, man. I was a little nerd. I was into my artwork, my drawing, my painting. I hung out at the art gallery in the library, man. You know? And it was like my circle was very small. I only had a couple of people I called friends that I hung out with. And this dude told me, man, one day, he said, yo, he said, I want to be just like you, man, when I grow up. Now, I thought the dude was just saying it, just to be saying it. But I found out years later that he meant that. Even in my adulthood, he said, man, I always wanted to be like you. And I'm looking at this cat like, yo, man, I was only about 15, 16 years old. Right? But you got dudes out there that's so envious of these young boys, their strength their swag, their lifestyle, that they want to be them. You know, so you got a lot of uh, energy vampires, the spiritual vampires, because they're trying to suck the spirit, the life out of these young boys to try to give themselves some clout. Like, yeah, I'm bad too. And especially dudes, man, that reach a certain age and they still think they rappers. You hadn't made it. And I see you walking up and down the street, man. Boopity, 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 boop. And I'm like, yo, this dude is like 40, 50 years old and still trying to be a rapper. Yo, what's up, son? What's up, nigga? All this nonsense. Trying to suck the energy. Man, I'm telling you. They existed when I was young. And they exist even more now because these dudes are on the internet. And these dudes are clout chasers, man. They're like, they're clout chasers. They, they, they're chasing after these young boys. And what's worse is on the internet, these dudes are like clout chasing. They're, 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 they're picking beefs with these young boys, man, to try to get followers and views. And, you know, they want to prove that they're tough. You know, bro, we need, you need to stop that nonsense, man. You're not young no more, Right. And that's why I really have no sympathy for these young cats, man. I mean, when these young cats beat these older dudes down, because when you look at their life, it's like, yo, man, you spent your whole life, man, you know, harping on these young boys, man, stalking these young boys, harassing these young boys, building channels, talking about these young kids, man, leave these young boys alone. See, people like me, I'm not going to get that many followers because I talk about life, man. Things that happen in life, man. Every now and then, I may laugh or joke or whatever. But for the most part, you don't never see me beefing with nobody online. I don't need to sit there and brag about, you know, and, and that's another thing, too. I see so many dudes out there, man, glorifying and bragging about I was in the streets. And I was this, and I was that, and I was that. Man, YouTube has become so boring, man. It's boring. A lot of the, a lot of the older YouTubers, man, like videos I used to watch, I used to enjoy. Now it's like it's looking for a needle in a haystack to find a good video, man, because they're all clout chasing. These are all clout chasing videos, man, talking about exposing, mainly about Nature Boy, Hassan Campbell, um, Young Pharaoh, you know, 
Young Pharrell's in his own corner. Sometimes he'll kind of go off a little bit, but he's mainly in his own little corner doing his own little thing. And then you will have somebody, man, some older dude that start attacking him. And then threatening them. How do you threaten a young boy on the internet, man? That reminds me of these older females that were in their 30s and 40s trying to fight these little 18, 19-year-old girls. One time it was a 17-year-old girl trying to fight this little 17-year-old girl for her boyfriend's attention. It's madness. And we wonder why black people are in the condition they are today. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Until next time. I'm fearless.